Lucifer was not satisfied. As close to God as he could be, he wanted more. I will be greater. I will step further. Only one of a thousand thousand. Yes! Above the stars of God himself, I will be as the most high. Your pride will be brought down to the grave. I cannot die. You can long to die, and you will. Michael, do not stand in my way. Down, Lucifer. Down to hell! Adam and Eve were free. They walked in a teeming world, wishing to see nothing but this, wishing to be nothing but themselves. The world was glad. When evening cooled the garden, the Lord God spoke with them, walked with them. Now in the middle of the garden, the Lord God planted a tree. It was laden with blossom and fruit, but it was different from every other tree he had made. This garden is yours. Taste and eat of all that is in it, except the fruit of this one tree, the tree of all knowledge, evil as well as good, Bite into that fruit, and on that day, death will begin to hunt you down. We will obey. What can prevent us? This pain, the burning, the agony. I must be free! of the morning. I will not dance at the throne of God. I will topple it. Let God fear me. Adam was at the riverside when Eve woke. She walked through the garden to find him. Not fearful. Why should she be? Eve. Eve, my child. You are the serpent. And you are the loveliest thing in a perfect garden. If only you knew it. <laughs> I do know it now. You have told me. Will you pick some fruit for us? Here. Not peaches today. What then? Something rare and delicate. There, in the middle. No, not that. No? Doesn't it make your mouth water and the scent of it? We may pick of any of the fruits of the garden. Well, of course. Except those. Those we must not touch. The Lord God has forbidden us. If God forbids this or that, Eden is no better than a prison. No, we are free. Well, if God has said you are free, then be free. Pick and eat. But if we eat the fruit of that tree, we will die. You will not die. Death is a big word. You don't understand it, but you could understand everything. Don't you want to be like that God you love so much? Like God? Yes. But you would rather be a slave. Does such a God need slaves? He asks for obedience. 
And would God have put the tree in the garden if it truly brought death? I cannot argue with God. Unless you taste the fruit. Why do I feel the world pulling against me? The air is thick. His spirit on us and rejuvenate our bodies, and we're gonna be strengthened. We're gonna have the uh, we're gonna be mighty men, like you watch, uh, watch Hancock. Yep. He was yep. able to take off at the speed of light and break the sound barrier. And the whole ground broke up as, as, as he left the, um, the ground. You know, Flash, he was able to run at the speed of light. Run, be we're gonna do things that are beyond your understanding. You know, this is coming soon, man. This is coming to America. No! This is coming to the world, all right? The rulers of the nation of Israel. No, you goddamn East Indians, you dead ends, you going into slavery. That's right. 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 You so-called white people, you going into slavery. Right. You so-called Asians, and any of our people is not with it, you're going to get put to death, man. Right. Because right. right. that's what the Bible says, man. We're going to proclaim this word.
blind the hearts and minds of people to the gospel. Millions are deceived. Religion is one of Satan's ways of destroying your soul. But Jesus came to save your soul. Satan has multitudes following the teachings of Buddha. But Buddha is dead. He's powerless to save, for he was only a man. Ancient pagan religions worshipped Astarte, known as the Queen of Heaven. Today, millions of Roman Catholics unknowingly worship this same pagan goddess as the Virgin Mary. God himself commands in his holy word, Cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. This is an abomination in the eyes of God. One of Satan's masterpieces is Islam. History proves that Allah was nothing more than the ancient moon god of the Middle East. Muhammad was doomed to hell when he rejected Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. The devil has furnished mankind with millions of false gods to worship. In his wicked imagination, man has worshipped everything from insects to rocks, rivers, idols made with hands, and even Satan himself. To be a follower of Jesus, you must reject all of your false gods and follow him alone. The lake of fire is the final place for all who rejected the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal savior. It's too late for them. But what about you? If you receive Jesus, this is the beginning of a wonderful new life God will bless you and change your whole life and give you a brand new heart. All of your problems won't go away, but He will carry your burdens for you. Casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. But the best part will come when you stand before your wonderful Savior at death. And he will say to you, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. God loves you and guided you here so you can be saved from a burning hell. If you want Jesus to come into your heart, you must ask him. Repeat these words and mean them. Lord, I realize that I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe Christ died for me and rose from the dead. Jesus, I now repent. I am willing to turn from sin. Please, come into my heart. I trust you alone for my salvation. Thank you for letting me hear and receive the words of eternal life. In Jesus' name.